In this video, I'll show you how to build a raised herb planter. This is a simple build that will be suitable for any garden or deck patio. Let's get right to it. To start, I'll measure out and cut most of the wood pieces I'll need for this project right at the get-go. I'll be using spruce wood boards and basic tools, but you can use whatever you choose. Just bear in mind that some wood species are more resilient to weathering than others. Also, be sure not to use any treated wood products, as you don't want any chemicals seeping into the soil you plan on growing food in. I'll leave all the wood measurements in the description below. Four boards will make up the base of the planter. I'll need to cut four corner slots for the legs to fit through, so I'll mark these areas with a pencil. To remove each corner, I'll saw across the wood grain to the right depth. Next, I'll start cutting with the grain, but to save time, I'll simply knock out each piece with the saw handle. I like to mock up each of my builds before I start attaching anything. Now is when adjustments can be made if necessary. I'll start with the back boards, which will be secured flush to the legs using one and a half inch screws. In these clips, I'm only using one screw per board, but I actually go back and add a second screw to each one for solid joints. The end of the front boards will cover the side boards for a nice clean finish, so to do this, I'll need to offset the legs by the thickness of one board. To attach the side boards, I'll pre-drill the holes to avoid any splitting. After securing them in the right spots, I can go back and put in the second screws. With both sides completed, it's time to join the front panel. Again, pre-drilling holes here is necessary to avoid damaging the ends. Two screws in each board will ensure there's no movement. The main structure is now complete. To add the base boards, I'll attach a support board to each side that they can be screwed into. Don't forget to drill a few holes in these boards for drainage. A couple of screws is enough for each one. Next, I'll attach the front top board with a few pre-drilled screws. For a little additional support underneath, I'll add on a board in the middle. For the trim around the top, I'll use the miter box to get accurate 45 degree angles for each of the corners. To attach these, I'll go around and hammer them in using a few nails. The lower planter will have trim that is flush to the walls, while the top planter will have a slight overhang. No project is complete without a little sanding. It's time to add the soil and get some herbs in. 
there's no graceful way to do this. Just dump it in as best you can and clean up afterwards. I've got some rosemary I've grown from cuttings that I'll start with, along with some basil and mint. I've still got plenty of room for others. Well folks, I hope you've enjoyed the video and give one of these planters a go. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, please subscribe.